Right, the devil do do these uh, lightweight duly class weapons. But pretty normal mechanics similar to shooters, it is short range high damage. The range. This is roughly the longest you can hit. Makes it's a bit spacey, but I'll get to that in a bit. Wait, it's always 40 damage per shot. This is actually the only weapon that has been nerfed between Splatoon 2 and Splatoon 3. Used to be 45, it's only 40 now, which means damage per second. It's still very high, higher than most weapons, in fact. Not quite as high anymore. So the new numbers are 480 damage per second when strafing. Or. What is it? I have 600. 600 when rolling. That being said, just like not all duelies but most duelies, you do wanna just roll a bunch to get your DPS up against targets that do have big HP. Big shots come to mind, Rizzlers, Gorillas, kind of stuff. But do not sacrifice your mobility for, for it anyway. If you, if you move then you need to move then you don't move. This is also significant for, for Goldie Seeking, but on that later too. Right about the Lesser's matchup, well it's still a single target here. It acts in a similar way like Splush. Like it actually still kills them faster than various things that do have area of effect. The Devils qualifies as area of effect pretty much. And, and you are not doing anything wrong when you are prioritizing lessers highly in most comps, if not even all comps, honestly. Like make it so that the weaker weapons can move and then they can kill the bosses and you'll do fine. General rule of thumb that I guess works nicely. Yeah, when it comes to killing bosses, of course, the efforts is really good as well. If that is one of the trickier ones, there are multiple ways to do it. One is to roll at them with a good position, like roughly this. Like what usually works best is to roll sideways, like like that way you do not usually mess up the space. Like you get to exactly where you need to be, but a bit to the side, and then this, if that makes sense. Because if you if you do like this, then something like this might happen, or you might just land close enough to the steel head and just hit the shield. That would suck. The same thing if you're like rolling back, then you might be too far away. The sideways is the easiest. Then there's also a way to kill it without actually rolling. As you can jump at him like this. This is actually really consistent. It, I guess it, it looks a bit shoddy, but trust me, it works. Just try it. Pretty easy. To some extent, you can even get around things that are swarming this dead on the ground. Although, be careful with that, of course. Like, don't get yourself trapped. Make sure you can get out of the hill by having good paint and. Like, like the stuff only swarming this dead right as you're approaching and not already being there and stuff, you know. But that makes sense. So, other HP bosses, not much to say. Just the damage to them and they'll die. Fish sticks, you need you need to climb to deal with them. And since fish sticks are generally high priority targets, if no one is looking at them, then by all means just do it even with devils. As slow as it might be, but the thing needs to be gone. I'm just gonna come back to bite everyone later. Fingers, the annoying part is you do have to approach them. First, you, you kill them as fast as you can kill them. Rolling, I believe, is a bit faster than strafing because rolling increases your fire by one frame. Which is exactly why rolling has higher DPS, by the way. 5 frames versus 4 frames per shot. Unless there's some kind of slowdown going on with the sting up, but knockout animation anyway. I, I do not know how that works. That's what I have to answer that. Alright. Let's be all this. Let's get to Night Waves. 
First step rush and most comes your air drop is to stay behind and protect the aggro player from goldies. You tip you typically wanna wanna roll instead of instead of strafe. Because you really do need do need that DPS chance can jumps can if the hazard is high enough completely overwhelm you too. Like I like missed shots at close range from from the spread here as you see it. Just running faster than you can damage them. A rather unsafe weapon and rush, I personally do not like it. Anyway, focus goldies and get some stragglers. You can sort of go ahead and filter with this if you really need to, like if no one on the team is doing it. Ideally someone else is doing that. Right, Gorillas. This is pretty much the best normal weapon for Gorillas. It literally does it all. You, you can stun fast with this, you can DPS fast with this. Since it will die very fast, you can completely ignore small fries usually while, while you're hitting it. Then after you're hitting it, you can get all the small fries with your strafing fire. And one shotting them, as you hear. Like, they just have no chance. It's the easiest thing in the world, it's as, it's as if you are a roller, pretty much. Anyway, for, for how to set up the rolls, there are some things that you can do, like rolling against a wall to basically tear it in place. This is especially useful on spawning grounds against the basket. You, you are sitting on top there waiting for the gorilla to approach, and then once it does, you roll against the basket. Hit it hard. And then for those maps where you do not have this kind of stuff, like this okay, for example. Like get somewhere sideways behind the gorilla and then you do this kind of thing, like shoot a bit ahead of it and your bullets should land inside it. Hard to explain and hard to get used to as well. I'm not good at it myself yet. But this is the general list of it. Maruna's Bay, if you have a, if you have a team that actually is confident at luring gorillas to basket, you can then do if not aggro is. Let's say this here is the basket, obviously. Gorilla is coming from one of the two lanes, you're not aggro. You, you can stand like here and then the gorilla is going like that's if like it's coming from here. It's going like this way. This is the way you look gorillas to basket. And then do staples if you're not aggro as you stand here. You hit the gorilla as it's passing. And you can kill it right here. You can also do this with all other short range weapons. Yeah, I'm mentioning it here, just I guess. Okay, so that was gorilla rush. Another important one is sticking. Try to stay stay ahead of, of the Goldie. You can stay ahead of, ahead of him and roll back and stuff. If you set it up really well, then you'll get the most damage per second. Whenever you stop staying ahead of it, then get out of the rolls and just, just walk and swim a bit. Don't roll anymore, but just fire. Yes, it will be lower DPS, but... But the thing with rolling is it's just gonna walk away from you really fast and then you're accomplishing nothing but wasting your ink and getting into like, like standing still and standing still when that happens. The other thing you can do if if there are like there are like high ground corners where the girl is just going around or just corners in general then place yourself roughly in these corners and roll there and Something like this. If you can, if you can like turret to go around the corner, it's gonna do massive damage to it. First requires some good knowledge on all the paths and maps and stuff. That can get you really high scores and really fast pops. The, the really high scores are the result of pops, of course. You yeah, always try to pop every single goldie. Hopefully the team will help enough as well because 
That's cannot exactly do it. The best makes usually the biggest contribution. Then, then what math if there are no better weapons for it in the comp, then you can focus other lessers pretty much. But usually there will be something that is also really nice for one or two groups of them. Pay attention to the comp as usual. I've said this with men before. Mothership, you have short range, it's annoying. Pick some spot that is far, far away from the boss cut. Like, get other chinooks there, throw back eggs. Whenever lessers are getting too much, you can also clean them up. And since you're dealing a lot of damage to the mothership, it's helpful if you're back early and then just hurt. Alright. That should be all the night waves. Level do at least. Of the best normal weapons for sure. Even the nerf. <laughs> 